especially, you know, uh, you can win, and you can win neutral nine times out of ten and still lose. But that's what makes good players good players. When they capitalize, they execute, and we saw just that from Special 1001. And that's oh, yeah. why he's sitting in, in Grand Finals right now against Rayquaza, who have, sit, who have sat down and are ready to rumble in Grand Finals. All right, so we're going to see the Mario from from Smasher out the gate, and I, it, it didn't work out so well uh, in Winner's Finals for him. But it is the right choice. Yeah, well, he, he tried both characters in Winner's Finals. Of course right? he did, right? So, yeah. yeah, neither one worked out, so this is probably just uh, kind of based on comfort. Which one he feels? Uh, yeah, he's he's more like suited to play against Rosa with. Well, I think we're going to see a lot of good tools here in Mario's toolkit that will show you why this is why this is the character he went with. Uh, you know, even though Mario's range is notorious, that he still has some some good aerials and some good movement that can allow him to kind of break through Rosa just as he would break through Mega Man. Oh, yeah. So it, it's kind of similar. It does remind me of the Mega Man matchup a little bit where, you know, you can get rolled out, but once you get in, you know, it, you, you uh, the gloves come off, I like to say, with Mario. And we'll, we'll try to see that here. But Rayquaza off to uh, the fast start, continuously keeping Mega Man on the outside looking, or sorry, Smash 1001 on the outside looking in. Oh, God! Oh, my goodness. And Rayquaza just not giving Smasher any room to breathe. I mean, we saw... Uh, once once Ray got him on the ledge, his his presence just like oh no is that it? You did not just do that, boy. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah, that I mean that whole game, Rayquaza's offstage presence was so threatening. Um, and even when Smasher was able to find his way back to the ledge, Rayquaza just constantly had an answer. Like look at this. That is something that Rayquaza really touts as a Rosa Luma main, and he has. Uh, the privilege to do so as he continuously got weak hits and was able to get that sweet spot on the up air to take that early stock. Yeah, and just a perfect setup. Not too much Smasher could have done about that. Uh, and it didn't help that he was probably already a little frustrated uh, from just constantly being put back on the ledge over and over. Rayquaza's ledge trapping game was just unbelievable that match. I think Rayquaza as a player, there's there's nothing more important than mind games uh, with with him. You know, if, if he's in your head, likely he's doing better than you are. Oh, if you're in sure. in his head, he can shatter quite quickly. So I think you know that's that's part of the game plan here uh, for Smasher. It has to be, and I guess for most players, goes against Ray. They they do know that about him. Uh, you can tilt him quite easily, and when he does get tilted, you will start to see shifts in his gameplay. But uh, you know yeah. we're not at that stage yet. But that's uh that's also one of Ray's biggest assets is like those those subtle little things he does in neutral, um, those tiny little like spacing adjustments that he'll make. Um, mo movement is really everything uh, when it comes to like baiting and conditioning, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll definitely see that shine through in Rayquaza's play. And Smasher 1001 is actually a similar player in that regard. Uh, he does oh, yeah. a lot of that stuff too. So you know these two are really actually well suited to play each other, but. So far, it's been a little one-sided, but not in this matchup so far. The Mega Man is the switch he needed so far, as it's a much closer game. But you know, Rayquaza is still working with a, a bit of a comfortable lead here, but nothing that you know Mega Man can't take care of. All right, now stage. What do you what do you think Mega? What do you think Smash is looking for in this scenario here? Um, well, right now, probably stage control. <laughs> How does he get it though? Not able to find it. Rayquaza just continuing to capitalize. I feel like jumping against Rosa Luma is one of the worst options you can really do. Oh yeah, especially since she's just she can react so quickly um, with such a large hitbox, and it'll kill you pretty pretty early. So yeah, n probably not the best ledge option. Smasher kind of giving Rayquaza what he wants, and he's struggling to get uh -oh. the stock off right now. And here we go, Rayquaza has him in the air once again, just continuing to hit him. Oh my gosh! But at the same time, you have to remember that's. You know, that's the conditioning in play because uh, Smasher tried a lot of aggressive options off the ledge already, and uh, Rayquaza is just constantly outspacing him, so um, that jump may have just been an act of desperation. Yeah. Regardless, um, Smasher's still trying to find the stock right now. Oh, ooh! That was smart. Yeah, he hit him with <laughs> the very edge of that back air hitbox. Um, definitely untackable there, and Rayquaza is not going to be able to recover. 
I didn't mind the attempt from Rayquaza to kind of try to ride the wall, because that's what he's going for. But Mega Man has that great multi-hit back air that was uh, just enough to, to get the spike. Okay. Or not spike, I should say, but, you know. Enough yeah, to I, enough to clip him. I don't. I don't think Ray took the possibility of that back air into uh, <laughs> consideration. I think very few of us did. Yeah. Well, regardless, it's gonna put Mega uh, Smasher back in this, but he is still at a huge deficit, 135 percent. Can he make it back? Can he even this up? No. Oh, I love that. That was so good for so many reasons, but Rayquaza uh, still just showing like that ledge pressure is really that is the dominating force in this in this match. That is what is holding Smasher back so much because the, the neutral looks fine, right? And like, both of these players are, uh, they have some very strong capitalizations and stuff like that, but once Smasher gets on the ledge, he's just unable to find a way out. Yeah, really, uh, we, we see, you know, these two actually hold their own quite well in neutral, like you said. And, you know, both these two characters really, really thrive on neutral. And uh, it's hard fought, but it, it seems a little one-sided when we get to that uh, part of the part of the game. So I think that's where you know Smasher obviously needs to make adjustments. You you can uh, you know defeat that demon, but that that's the uh, area of improvement needed. Oh, I love this! And now uh, Smasher doesn't have his jump. That's it. Yup. Luma right there with the strong hit seals the deal. Oh, man. You know, we can we can we we can't really stop talking about it because it keeps happening. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we've yeah. said it a number a thousand times. You know what I mean? But uh, like you said, the jump was gone. And Smasher typically saves his jump, right? But right there, Rayquaza knew he was saving his jump, so he decided, "I'm gonna hit you when you jump." Yep. And unfortunately, that was that led to that. So I think Smasher needs to consider next time I need to, you know, make sure I am switching up a little bit um, when it comes to using my jumps, whether it's low or high. Yeah, but uh, with Rayquaza kind of running away with this lead, you know, there may not be a next time for Smasher. Not in this tournament, no. <laughs> oh, oh no, the Luma trades, and uh, I believe that is it. Holy Rayquaza moly. will take a very quick grand finals, 3-0, uh, winning NHS X. Ooh, that ledge play has me sweating.